Hi, I am here today with <clears throat> Selchuk Shirin. Am I saying that correctly? Selchuk Shirin, you're close. Okay. All right, so let's jump right in. What is your official title and what are the programs that you're associated with at NYU? I am a professor and I'm affiliated with uh, the developmental program under the Department of Applied Psychology. And what degrees do you have? Oh, I have a lot of degrees. I have a master's degree in counseling, community counseling. I have a PhD in developmental psychology. I also have a postgraduate degree in finance and banking. Wow, very impressive. What courses do you generally teach at NYU? Uh, I have two lines of classes that I've been teaching here uh, for almost 15, 12, no, 17 years. Uh, one line is about research methods and statistics. So I do that at the graduate and undergraduate levels. Another line is about uh, developmental psychology in general and more specifically immigrant origin youth development. And what else are you involved with on campus? Well, I have a research lab, so I am very um, much involved in that. So speaking of your research lab, what is it called and what do you study? Actually, it's my name, Shirin's Lab is the official title of the lab. We are studying the effects of context and culture on marginalized children and adolescents. Uh, so that means we are studying a lot of immigrant kids starting school in early years, immigrant origin youth, adopting in high school <clears throat> throughout, the, throughout the high school years, as well as refugees, uh, both here in Norway and Turkey. And I have uh, in the past studied uh, Muslim American youth post 9-11 as well. All right, so a bit of an easier question. Do you put cereal first or milk first? Oh, neither. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it either. <laughs> uh, tea or coffee? I don't, I don't uh, have breakfast, but uh, oh, coffee, yeah, even now. I'm a coffee <laughs> person, big time. Favorite movie? Oh, just one? Just uh, maybe uh, Bernardo Bertolucci's 1900. Nova Chanta in an Italian American movie. Uh, do you prefer to read or write? <laughs> I have to pick one, right? Well, mm -hmm. I love writing, but you cannot write without reading. So there you go. <laughs> you make an excellent point. Speaking of reading, would you like to show us your bookshelf? Oh, yeah. I'm right here, actually. If I do this, then you can see, if I may say, these are some of the books I read. <laughs> <laughs> Just some of them. Yeah, and, and there, there are books that I wrote. I, I, you know, I wrote a lot of books in English and Turkish. Hold on a second. Here. Um, so this is my book in Turkish, which is a bestseller. It got uh, printed more than 100,000 copies. Wow. Uh, it's uh, about child development, and another one is about uh, youth development. So what's one book you think everyone should read? Well, let me... Just, uh, I don't know if you can see from there. So I have some books with multiple copies. James Joyce, Ulysses, and maybe this one, actually. I have two copies, hard copy and a soft copy. Thinking Slow and Fast by Daniel Kahneman. It's a bestseller. Most people have read it by this point, I hope. it's. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a book everyone should read because it tells us uh, how we make decisions. You know, in our everyday life, political decisions, uh, decisions to buy a car or a pair of uh, trousers, whatever uh, uh, domain uh, you can think of, it tells or helps us better understand how we make up our mind. And what publication do you have that you are most proud of? Well, I am really proud of uh, my books in Turkish because uh, they are both uh, culturally sensitive and also scientific content. But in terms of academic, uh, maybe 2005, here in 2005, it's a meta-analysis that shows the effect of social class on school achievement. Uh, it's been widely read at this point. Uh, I'm very proud of that because it uh, shows that performance in school, academic performance is not just a function of effort uh, or, or teachers or schools, but it's a function of home environment and most importantly, social class. So what did you do before NYU? I was, oh, well, before NYU, you know, I worked at Montclair State University for uh, two years. Before that, I was a 
doctoral student at Boston College. Uh, before that, I was a master's student in, uh, at Albany, SUNY Albany. Before that, I was a banker for five years. Wow. So what made you decide to become an academic? So when I was working in the bank, that wasn't a good match, good fit. Um, and I always wanted to be a researcher. Uh, and that was the switch for me. Where can I do research? Well, how can I gain the skill set that necessary to do research, to ask questions, collect data, analyze it, and record it? And that was the reason why I moved from banking to, to academia. So what's your favorite part about working in academia now? Oh, now... Uh, it's always been that way. Other than the research part is kind of a personal quest in a way. You ask questions, you're curious. You know, curious is very, very important. Uh, but the most exciting part is certainly teaching and mentoring students. You know, I am now about 50 and I feel like I am a young person, partly because of that interaction, that experience that I have every day with my students. I have a large uh, research lab, you know, 15 to 20 students any given semester. I also teach undergraduate classes here at NYU and I love it because every year you get uh, fresh 18, 19, 20 year olds with their great ideas, challenging me left and right, uh, keeping me you know, up to task. So what's your current TV obsession? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is, uh, we are taping this at noon, right before this, I was watching, and that's why I'm a little bit uh, late to the session. I was watching, uh, watching Succession. Succession, oh, that's a good one. Uh, what are three things you can't live without, not including people? <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> yeah, uh, every day. Uh, a good dinner party. Uh, something probably I can't live without, like, you know, good people sitting down. Long, I'm from Turkey and our dinners, um, uh, it could be five, six, seven hours. You start right before sundown and it goes until midnight. Uh, that's that's something I couldn't do without. Maybe the third one, you know, I, I, I grew up in a village in an eastern part of Turkey, easternmost part of Turkey. Kars uh, is the name of the city. I visit there at least twice a year, one in, during the winter break, one during the summer. Uh, so I think I can't do without that visit. It connects me to where I grew up. If you could describe yourself in a hashtag, what would that hashtag be? <laughs> Dream big. Beautiful. If you had a tattoo, what would it be? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. You know, uh, elevate. All right. Newspaper or magazine? Magazine. And last question, what is a skill that you're still trying to master? Patience. Thank you so much, Selchik. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Have a great day.